Number 5 Zubrin Zubrin was first created by Leopold Wielicki in 1847, although the hybrid may also have appeared at an earlier time. After World War I, various scientists considered Zubrin a possible replacement for domestic cattle. Zubrin turned out to be more durable and less susceptible to disease. In addition, the animal could be bred on marginal grazing land with no farm infrastructure and with minimal husbandry in huge state agricultural farms. From 1958, the work on Zubron herds was continued by the Polish Academy of Sciences in various laboratories, most notably in Biowowiza and Mladzikow. During the first 16 years of experiments, a total of 71 animals were born, including Phylon, the first Zubron born to a Zubron mother. The animal was intended to become a hardy and cheap alternative to cattle. The experiment was continued until the late 1980s when the results of the breeding programs were deemed unsatisfactory. Various factors contributed to this decision, including the severe economic difficulties of the Polish socialist economy in the 1980s, a lack of interest from the notoriously ineffective SOFs, and fears that Zubron would cross-breed with the endangered wild Wizent, contaminating their gene pool. The two notable centers for experiments on the species were Legno and Popilno. While limited experiments were also held in the reserve of Iskanyanova in the USSR, this was discontinued, and the sole surviving herd consists of several animals only, kept at Biowowiski National Park. As of 2007, however, there are press releases suggesting the breeding and experiments are continuing in Karolu in Greater Poland. Number 4 Gape or Sheep the goat is a hybrid between two different breeds called the hybrid, which arises from sexual intercourse between a sheep and a goat. The name of this animal is made up of a combination of the words goat and the end of the word sheep. From an arithmetic point of view, a hybrid is a child born from the endogenous nature of two animals or plants of different species. Number 3 The Iron Age Pig Boar Pig hybrid is a hybridized offspring of a cross between the Eurasian wild boar and any domestic pig. Feral hybrids exist throughout Eurasia, the Americas, Australia, and in other places where European settlers imported wild boars to use as game animals. In many areas, a variable mixture of these hybrids and feral pigs of all domesticated original stock, even environmental, agricultural, hunting, and other regulatory agencies often do not bother to distinguishing between them have become invasive species. Their status as pest animals has reached crisis proportions in Australia, parts of Brazil, and parts of the United States, and the animals are often freely hunted in hopes of eradicating them or at least reducing them to a controllable population. A male Iron Age pig. When bred intentionally, the hybrid is intended to visually recreate, to back breed. The look of pigs represented in prehistoric artworks of the Iron Age and earlier in ancient Europe. A project to create them, under the name Iron Age Pig, started in the early 1980s by crossing a male wild boar with a Tmworth sow to produce an animal that looks like the pig from long ago. Iron Age pigs are generally only raised in Europe for the specialty meat market, and in keeping with their heritage are generally more aggressive and harder to handle than purebred domesticated pigs. Number 2 Human Pig Hybrids For the first time, researchers have successfully grown human cells inside early-stage pig embryos in the lab, creating pig-human hybrids, which the researchers describe as interspecies chimeras. While still early days, the experiment might one day lead to lab-grown human organs that can be transplanted into those who need them, potentially saving thousands of lives. In the experiment, researchers in the U.S. injected human stem cells into early-stage pig embryos. These hybrid embryos were then transferred into surrogate sows and allowed to develop until the first trimester. More than 150 of the embryos developed into chimeras which meant that they had developed the precursors of organs including the heart and liver. But they contained a small amount of human cells, around 1 in 10,000 of the hybrid cells were human. This is a proof of concept experiment showing that human pig hybrids are possible. The ultimate goal is to find a way to use these lab-grown human parts for transplants. We have shown that a precisely targeted technology can allow an organism from one species to produce a specific organ composed of cells from another species.
Number 1 The Belgian Supercar The breed originated in Central and Upper Belgium in the 19th century, from crossing local breeds with a Sherthorn breed of cattle from the United Kingdom. 256 Carolay cattle possibly were crossbred, as well. 256 Belgian blue cattle were first used as a dairy and beef breed. The modern beef breed was developed in the 1950s by Professor Hansett, working at an artificial insemination center in Liège province. The breed's characteristic gene mutation was maintained through lina breeding to the point where the condition was a fixed property in the Belgian blue breed. In 1978, Belgian blue cattle were introduced to the United States by Nick Tutt, a farmer from central Canada who immigrated to West Texas and showed the cattle to universities in the region. Belgian blue has a natural mutation in the myostatin gene which codes for the protein, myostatin. Myostatin is a protein that inhibits muscle development. This mutation also interferes with fat deposition, resulting in very lean meat. The truncated myostatin gene is unable to function in its normal capacity resulting in accelerated lean muscle growth. Muscle growth is due primarily to physiological changes in the animal's muscle cells from hypertrophy to a hyperplasia mode of growth. This particular type of growth is seen early in the fetus of a pregnant dam, which results in a calf that is born with two times the number of muscle fibers at birth than a calf with no myostatin gene mutation. In addition, a newborn double muscle calf's birth weight is significantly greater than that of a normal calf. Belgian blue cattle have improved feed conversion ratio due to lower feed intake compared to weight gain due to an altered composition of body weight gain which includes increased protein and decreased fat deposition. The Belgian blue's bone structure is the same as normal cattle, albeit holding a greater amount of muscle, which causes them to have a greater meat to bone ratio. These cattle have a muscle yield around 20% more on average than cattle without the genetic myostatin mutation. Because of this breed's increased muscle yield, a diet containing higher protein is required to compensate for the altered mode of weight gain. During finishing, this breed requires high energy feeds and will not yield the same results if put on a high fiber diet. The value of the double muscling breed is due to their superior carcass characteristics. However, with decreased fat content is decreased more bling of meat, which means the meat tenderness is reduced. Conversely, the Belgian Blue's meat tenderness has been argued to be just as tender because a large number of smaller muscle fibers are present.